You've just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. Uh, when would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here, even if you have to cut off my hand. Don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it off then! Oh, I would, Brink. But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Do something, Commander! Do it now! Robbins. Any ideas on how to free Brink from the crevice? Aside from pulling? No. Cutting off his hand seems pretty severe. I hope it isn't necessary. Thanks. You're going to saw off his hand with a jawbone? The teeth are razor sharp. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! Brace yourself, Brink. I can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine. But I'll need more crystals. Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. We've got all the metal plates. We think it's gonna take us home. You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. What if it does take us home, Brink? What if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? You agree we have a deal? Agreed. All right, all right. It won't do anything. It won't accomplish anything. That should do it. Do what? What's happening? Nothing is happening, that's what. That's not exactly nothing, Brink. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? I think nothing is on the other side. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. He is definitely insane. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's my opinion as a sane person.
I saw something like this in the museum display. This machine was the greatest of the inventor's achievements. What does it do? I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think it might send us home? Right now, it's doing nothing. It's a row of crystalline devices. It looks like there's a part missing here. There's a gap. I don't know how to work these controls. I don't know what to do with this device. Robbins. We've got to try and turn on the inventor's machine. It's the only way to find out what it does. What do we do? Search all these islands for a part when we don't even know what it looks like? Where are all those helpful hints now? The hints were about things they deliberately hid to keep them safe. But this missing part, what if it was stolen or just corroded away? Then all of this would be for nothing. Boston, somebody knows what the missing part does, and maybe even where it is. Well, I don't know. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about somebody who was sealed in a crystal pyramid. Thanks. Sorry, Bird. You'll have to find a new home.
speak. The machine in your laboratory, what does it do? Where the lights all shine, it opens the eye. The eye. Does that mean the crystal at the meeting place of the light bridges? The machine generated this eye. The eye sees into all space and time. And where the eye sees, the mind can fly. Was this eye the doorway into the place where your people went? A door that can be crossed only one way. You don't know that. If someone has a strong enough tie to reality... Do you think you are stronger than all my people? Even they, the strongest race known, could not overcome the temptation before it was too late. When you say the eye will see, you aren't talking about our eyes, are you? An eye that can see the three dimensions of time, as well as the three dimensions of space. It will show you beauty beyond belief. But once you have seen space-time six, Will you ever see space-time four again? The eye may be open, but the mind hasn't the strength to see. If we bring your people back to this world, then they can build a starship to take us home to Earth. It's our only chance. Maybe we'll fail, but you must let us try. Since you think you are stronger and wiser than my people, I will let you have the fruit of your pride. I will tell you how to find the peace I hid, if you know how to ask. But it will cost you more than you ever imagined. Please, don't play any more games with us. Where is the missing piece? You cannot understand what will begin if you activate the eye. You cannot bear to pay what it will cost you. Yes, you've warned us. Now where is the peace? Go to the map with this message and see what it shows you. I have said enough. The island we found, where was it hidden? It left this reality, but only a little way. It can come back, because it never fully left. The island moves in and out of our reality? It loses substance with every passage. We thought we could take our world with us into space time six. It could not be done. When something leaves our reality, where does it go? To a place where time is infinite in all directions. But because it does not move along a single line, it can never be predicted or controlled. Those who go there from here cannot change anything. They are nothing but observers. Forever. The monster who captured me, are there any more of them? That one did not evolve. It was made. And there are as many of them as are needed. Then why did you make them? Our society became obsessed with living eternally. I underestimated the breadth and danger of the obsession. The crystals are the second worst mistake I made. Have you a name? I had a name when I was alive. Now that I am again and again dead, what need have I for names? My body is now so ancient that the crystals scarcely have power over me. I rise for a few minutes, and then I fall again. Soon, I will cease to rise at all. Only then will my grief end. I want no name or memory to live after me. Thank you for helping us. 
help yourselves by giving up. Never look into the impossible eye. You don't have the strength to return from that place. I can't use these two things together. So that's where the part is. Assuming he gave us the right code. This place is as creepy as the forest behind my house when I was a kid. I wish I knew what's going to happen when I get this piece back in place. This must be the part for the eye machine. 
Robbins. The hiding place wasn't too subtle. Maybe he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. If he had sleeves, that is. But we still have to try. Thanks. Have you been? Where have we been? I need your crystals. All of them. Right now! Come on, Brink. How many crystals can one man use? Not for me, you fools. I need them for my machine. For science. Research. Give them to me! Machine? What are you talking about? I'm through talking! I'm not going to let anybody stand between me and the greatest scientific achievement in history. I only have these few crystals left, Brink, but I'll be glad to share some of them if you want. All of them! You didn't share anything, Lo. I took them! And it's a good thing you didn't fight me. I would have killed you to get these. You would have tried. You two will be nothing but a footnote in the annals of my achievements. He didn't damage the machine part, did he?
Get away from here! I won't let you break my life crystal machine! We don't want to break anything. My machine isn't working yet. Yes, gloat if you want to. I've studied all the inscriptions. Maggie's not the only one who can decipher strange languages. I followed the plans I found, but there's still something missing. And without it, the machine won't work. So if you think you can steal my life crystals again, Commander Lowe, think again. I'll kill you first. And believe me, no one will ever revive you. Actually, you've robbed me twice, and I only robbed you once. So you're still one ahead. Don't joke with me! Don't joke with him, Boston. This must be the part for the eye machine. I won't stand here and let you distract me from my achievements. I don't want that. It's just another artifact. Brink, this is important. I think I know what piece is missing from your machine. How can you know anything about this? You're not a scientist. You're just a strutting tin soldier. I think it's the same piece that the eye generator needed. I think it's the key to all this technology. The alien inventor hid it because without it, none of the machines he considers dangerous will work. Why would the creator of life crystals think they were dangerous? Because the crystals make you feel so good that they take over your life. All you care about is getting more of them. He said it was the second worst mistake he'd made. And the worst mistake? The eye. So you and Maggie, you keep telling me I'm crazy. <laughs> but you plan to make an even worse mistake. I'll make you a deal, Brink. Yes, like the deal you made before. I keep my part, but you go back on it. I didn't go back on it, I just wanted to talk about it with you first. No deals with liars and thieves. Brink, you need what I have to make your machine work. But if it works, then you'll have plenty of life crystals, right? You could share them with us and it wouldn't cost you anything, right? If you have the missing part, yes. That's my deal. Your machine, my part. 50-50 on the life crystals. I know you plan to cheat me. We won't even come near the machine when it's running. You divide up the life crystals. Then what's to stop me from keeping them all? Because I am trained as a military man, Brink. And if I ever actually decide to fight you, I don't care how strong and healthy you are. You will lose. And then I will take them all. Got it? Get your missing part and put it in my machine. Even liars and thieves can bargain as long as they watch each other very carefully. I just don't know how yet to link them up. It needs the part. I just don't know how yet to link them up. Remember our deal, Brink. I fix your machine, I get half the life crystals. But I divide them up. I remember very well. Do you think we should try this part in the eye? I get the feeling the inventor didn't want us to do this. Of course we should. It's probably our only chance of getting home. It fits perfectly. This is how the aliens designed the life crystal machine to work. Nothing's happening. Yes, it is. It's vibrating. Be patient. Who knows how fast it's supposed to work? We'll just have to wait. Suits me fine. We'll split them 50-50, right? Of course. 
50-50. Look, there's one. And another. Two. Is that all? Just two? I need more than two. I don't know about that, Brink, but it's a sure thing I need more than one. You still have all the crystals you stole from me and every other place on these islands. Don't touch them! 50-50, you said, Brink. Well, you must have hundreds of life crystals. It's not even 50-50 if I take these two. I knew you were a liar and a cheat. You weren't gonna let me have even one of these. I'll make the machine even better. It will produce more. Not till we're gone, it won't. I need that machine part to run the eye generator. You will take nothing from this machine, you lying thief! Once the eye is working, you can either come back with us to Earth, or you can stay here, take the part out of the eye generator, and put it back in your own machine. Just have a little patience. No! My machine is stopping! You've wrecked my machine! You're a dead man! Brink, please. We don't have to fight. You can have the part back after we're done with it. Everything you say is a lie! Maggie, tell him. If you say a word, Maggie, I'll kill you too! Brink, don't make me hurt you. You won't hurt me when you're dead! Brink! Oh, Maggie, please believe me. I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want him dead. It wasn't Brink who died here. Brink died when he fell down the hole when we first arrived. What just fell over the cliff was someone else. Someone alien. Created by those death crystals. Maggie, are we making an even worse mistake by activating the eye? Staying in this world any longer than we have to, that's the worst mistake we could make. We've got to do anything we can to survive. But what if we die trying? Don't you get it, Boston? This place is worse than death. I'd rather die than stay here. I don't know how to work these controls. It's a row of crystalline devices. right. This thing has already killed one of us, but it's back in place.
crystals Brink died for. Robbins. Never mind. It's a row of crystalline devices. I don't know how to work these controls. I don't know what to do with this device. Robbins. What do you think of our situation now, Maggie? You want the truth, Boston? I thought I had faced reality when Brink died. But when that monster carried me off, I finally understood what it means to be in an alien place. Nothing here is going to go the way we expect it. There's no guarantee there even is a way home. We have had some help. From the ghosts. Help? They have their own ideas of what they want us to do. They don't care whether we get home or not. But I do. And you do. So we're not giving up. Oh, I know. I'll keep on searching and trying to understand. Even if I die here, I'll at least know something about the place before I croak, right? I guess that's a comfort. You still hanging in there? I'm okay, Boston. Don't worry about me. You were starting to tell me something before Bob the Lobster came to pick you up for your date. Just a sample of what I was reading. Nothing significant. What mattered is that I could understand it. I've caught on to how their language works. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get tired. I've done a lot of digging. And I've done so much reading, my eyes ache. Poor Brank. Dying one miserable death wasn't good enough. Whatever died the second time, it wasn't Brink. It was the evil of the crystals manifested in Brink's body. If they can make bridges out of light, you have to wonder if they can make anything else. You mean, light beer? I was thinking more of a lighthouse. Light summer clothing. Light-hearted. You're the one who read the alien books. What exactly happens when we turn it on with enough life crystals in it? It would have taken me years to read everything, Boston. And I didn't understand half of what I read. But there's no doubt that this machine is dangerous. The alien warned us it might cost us more than we expected. What does that mean? It might mean that just turning on the machine might kill us. You mean he booby-trapped the thing? I mean that the machine may draw on more than life crystals. It may drain the life out of whoever uses it. Then I'm running the controls. Don't be absurd. It might do nothing, too. Or it could kill whoever isn't at the controls. I just want to tell you. No goodbyes. We're gonna make it home together, Maggie. I'm not sentimental, Boston. I wasn't going to say goodbye. I just want you to promise me something. After you saw me break every promise I made to Brink, you want me to make another one to you? What happened with Brink couldn't be helped, Boston. I know you'll keep your word with me. What's the promise? If I die, and you live, don't use any life crystals on me. Don't revive me. Do you understand? Are you sure? I saw what Brink became. I don't want that to happen to me. You wouldn't be saving Maggie Robbins. You'd be creating a monster with my memories, my face. Don't do it. Promise me. I promise, Maggie. And vice versa, okay? All right. 
And now you tell me the truth about something, Maggie. Are you sure you didn't find out somewhere that something bad happens to the person at the controls of this machine? Boston, I don't know any more than you do about what will happen when I switch this thing on. If that's a lie, I'm gonna be really ticked off, Maggie. Yeah, I know. Here we go! is restored. Worth it then. Go home. Maggie. should have known the inventor would have one more trick up his sleeve. That was the inventor's last chance to stop me. I will get out into Space Time 6. I will bring the people of this place back home, and they will build me a starship that will take me back to Earth. I guess this is the real test. Can a practical guy from Earth do what all the builders of this place failed to do? Can I go into Space Time 6 and still find my way back to reality? Only one way to find out. going any farther into this place. I'm staying here, where I can get back out again. You are as strong as we hoped, human. I can understand you. In space-time six, all living minds communicate perfectly. You stand at the doorway, human. You show us all the pathway back to life. To reality. To a place where we will someday die, yes. But we will have a life before we die. Every past and future. I can see them all, but which one is real? Go back now, human. Take me home.
My people have their bodies, their bones, their lives again. We owe you a great debt, Commander Lin. All I want, now that my friends are dead, is to go back to Earth and tell the story of how they died. Why not let them tell their own story? I wish. You knew the way home, but I know all the other paths through time and space. Wait! Don't go back there! I have brought you a gift. Maggie! Frank! You're alive again! We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Maggie! I thought I'd lost you forever. So you really didn't try to resurrect me with the crystals? No, I... I promised you. And besides, what the crystals bring back from death, it wouldn't have been you. I know, Boston. You kept your word. And yet, you did find a way to bring me back from death. It wasn't me, but I'm glad you're here. And I'm free of the madness of the crystals, too. You did it, Lord. No, it was our friend here. No, the credit belongs to you. We once revered a great inventor because he opened the door to unchanging eternity. But you opened the passageway back into true life. All I am is a guy who wants to get back home. Already my people are preparing a great crystal starship to take you there. But we can come back, can't we? You and any others who wish to come. You are a young people, strong and full of hope and passion. We have much to teach you, and you have much to share with us as well. There will be friendship between our species forever. I hope you're right. Not all human beings are as, uh, nice as us. Oh, I know that. All young species are alike that way. But don't worry. If any of your people try to pick a fight, we'll mash them like bugs. How reassuring. The ship is almost ready. Go home and tell your people what has been accomplished here. Telling the people, that's Maggie's job. And getting us home, that was yours. You did it, Boston. Thank you, Boston. We all thank you, Boston Man.